Hi, it's Lee. Welcome to another Learn English with Lee grammar lesson. And welcome to the first video in a series of videos looking at future simple. Okay, now, usually uh, we teach future simple at A1 elementary level. And this is very important. And we teach it to talk about the future generally. But there is a problem. When students use this idea, talk about the future, use future simple, it causes problems later in your English. So your A2 level, your B1, even B2 level. Students keep making mistakes with future simple, going to, present continuous, to talk about the future. Why is this? Well, it's because, yes, we use future simple to talk about the future. This is true, but not generally. Actually, there are five specific situations when we use the future simple to talk about the future. So what are these five situations? Well, the first one is when we make a first conditional sentence. I've already made a video uh, about first conditional, so please check that video for more information on this function. The second function is we use future simple to talk about spontaneous decisions. Oh, uh, Lee, what does this mean? Don't worry, I'm gonna come back and explain this one. The third function, the third job of uh, future simple is when we make suggestions or offers. We also use future simple to make promises. We also use future simple to make predictions about the future. Whew. Okay, so you can see future simple is a very busy tense. It has a lot of different jobs to do. So it's very important for you guys, the student, to really understand these functions, these jobs, so you can help Future Simple do his job correctly and you don't make a mistake. Okay, so I said that I've already done uh, first conditional. So spontaneous decisions. What, 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 what is this? What does it mean? What, what, what does spontaneous decision mean? Let's look at the noun first, a decision. What is a decision? Well, the verb of decision is decide, which means the same as choose. So you have two options, so tea or coffee. I like tea, so I choose tea. So I make a decision and take tea. So a decision is something you choose to do or something you choose to have. And that is also a very useful collocation. We don't do a decision, we make a decision. Okay, cool. So what does spontaneous mean? Yeah, nice word, isn't it? Spontaneous. Four syllables. So impressive, good word for you to use and all of your friends and your teacher will be impressed. But what does it mean? Well, the opposite of spontaneous is to make a plan. To think about something in advance before you do. So that's what a spontaneous decision is. But before we look at an example in how we use this with Future Simple, I want to look at the form a little bit of Future Simple. And the important thing to notice is that we're using a modal verb, the modal verb will. So when we use any modal verb, Actually, I made a video uh, introducing modal verbs already. So if you, if you want a little bit more practice, please check that video. So all modal verbs have the same grammar rule when we use them in a sentence. So we have the subject, we have the modal verb. In this case, future simple, the modal verb is will. And then the verb is in the infinitive without to. What does this mean? Well, the infinitive is the dictionary form of the verb. So this means, for example, uh, we don't use the third person S. So if the verb is play, so I play, you play, he plays, she plays, it plays. Cool, very good. But when we use a modal verb, I will play, you will play, he will plays? No, 
he will play she will play it will play the verb doesn't change why because we're using a modal verb so when we use a modal verb the verb after it is the infinitive so no s no ing no to no ed no past just the verb like you find it in the dictionary okay that's cool that's very good that's so that's for positives what about for negatives well we can use the negative particle not and say i will not play football tomorrow and this is common this is fine this is good but actually usually uh, for spoken english definitely but even for written english usually the will and the not we contract together and say won't so be careful about the pronunciation here because it sounds like want so want and won't so the sound is like in the alphabet l m n o p so won't so i won't play football tomorrow okay so we've looked at the meaning and we've looked at the form okay very good so now we understand it but now we need to get it from our head out of our mouth we need to use it correctly and a very important way to practice this is to look at example situations and example sentences and if you can get the example to be a real life example that is much better because you are preparing your brain to use it in a real situation so let's imagine that you and i were going to a restaurant together or let's imagine because we're in the uk let's imagine that we're going to a pub and we're going to have some traditional british food okay so we go to the pub together and we look at the menu hmm. traditional british food hmm. okay well i think i would like the fish and chips yeah i think i'm i think i'm gonna have the fish and chips okay so i've decided i'm going to have the fish and chips and this is a very good example of the difference between will and going to okay so i'm using going to here because i'm making a plan hmm yes when the waiter comes yes i'm going to ask for this is my plan so now let's imagine the waiter comes and asks what would you like to order and i say i would like the fish and chips please and the waiter says oh i'm really sorry unfortunately all of the fish is gone today what else would you like and i go oh oh oof, okay no fish oh no fish and chips uh then uh, then i guess i'll have the shepherd's pie instead actually shepherd's pie is a really popular traditional dish in britain which actually a lot of students don't know about so it's meat and potatoes and it's really delicious so if you come to england i really recommend trying shepherd's pie but you can see here i used will okay um, i guess i'll have the shepherd's pie instead because before for the fish and chips i was relaxing and thinking yeah no problem making my decision but now the waiter says no I have to think again very very quickly the waiter standing there looking at me I, i'm nervous um think and say at the same time i'm making a spontaneous decision so at the beginning i said yeah i'm going to have the fish and chips but no fish uh okay no problem then i'll have the shepherd's pie then please and in this example we can really see the difference between making a plan and making a spontaneous decision making a plan we will use going to making a spontaneous decision we will use future simple will okay so short video i hope that helped so please make sure you watch the other videos in these future videos series and very soon i'm going to upload a uh, futures so that's future simple present continuous and going to grammar exercise video uh, uh, for you to have more practice but until then if you've got any questions or you just want to make some practice sentences use the comment section below and i'll be happy to uh, check those for you so thank you very much for watching and see you next time